Okay, the final step in learning the basics of the mill is washing it down and putting it to bed. Find this valve on your coolant line and shut it off. Shutting this off means when I hit the coolant button, no coolant is going to come out of the nozzles here at the spindle. This makes it so that I can grab this garden hose here, which is now pressurized with the coolant pump, and reach into the mill and wash down the equipment. So go ahead and grab the garden hose and check out these three stickers just recommending that you do not spray a couple areas. Don't spray up and under the table. Don't spray up and under the back of the y-axis way cover. And don't spray up into the spindle. The most important thing you can do here is just make sure that tool one is loaded into the spindle before starting to spray anything down. Good. As you begin, just keep the garden hose pointing down. Spray chips down into the trough at the bottom of the mill and you'll be okay. One hot tip. The splash from the spray loves to get up all over your clothes so slide the door mostly shut and use it like a shield and then look through the door spraying off the table spraying out the vise spraying out the tea slots that run left to right across the table spraying down the way cover at the back of the mill where chips love to collect there's always chips on this back wall that you can spray off from where they've stuck on you can spray down the auto window on the side don't worry about spraying the light or the wireless probing receiver they are coolant proof you're just trying to chase every chip you can find down into the trough this small bit of work goes a long way to keeping the inside of the mill pristine so that when we are all in there working, we can see the difference between our work, our equipment, and the chips we're creating. We're not sifting through a mountain of rubbish to try to get near our precision equipment. After the mill is washed down, unload tool one and put it back on the tool rack, and then you are ready to power down the mill. Powering down is as simple as pushing the power off button and then watching the light turn red with this low incoming AC line voltage error and then everything goes dark. Congratulations on getting to hear this is an epic introduction to all of the things that allow you to do actual work on a CNC mill. If you've got any trash on the shelves, get it to the trash can. If the floor is dirty, give it a sweep and then take a nice break. We will pick up again making our own CAM, computer-aided machining tool paths that cut actual metal parts.